Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers The Last Knight Deluxe Class Premier Edition Barricade. So here he is and first we'll take a quick look at the box. So here's the box. You have um, his name. You have a very cool picture there. I really love the new design of Barricade. I'm really liking this. I love the brass knuckles and all that. And it does wrap around on this side and it says Transformers again. You have Deluxe Class. Decepticon symbol on this side you have another really cool image of barricade and your two word little like description of the of the character he's a sinister trickster which is it's quite interesting I'm, I'm I can't wait to see how they pull that off in the movie on the back you have another very crappy picture of the toy I'm not liking the uh, the back of the box pictures that they're using the CG renders looks nothing like the toy like you see how light this blue is and how dark the actual toy looks it just doesn't look very good to me, and I don't like that. Transforms in 11 steps. That's not a lot of steps. And then you have Bumblebee, who looks like utter garbage. And you have Berserker, who's really good. And on the top of the box, you have Megatron, Berserker, and uh, Barricade. And on the bottom, just your authentication stamp, your contents, and your uh, copyright infringements and whatnot. So there it goes. So inside the box, you obviously get the toy. But you do get, well, you're supposed to, and you always are gonna get the instructions so here's a quick look at them they're nice and big so you can clearly see each step which I do quite appreciate because the instructions are now getting really small and hard to read which I don't understand why it's that same picture on the front of the box on the other side you have your cross cells and these are really tiny instructions for getting them back into robot mode so yeah there's those and here's the backdrop that you get in it this is um, the one from Berserker but they're the same throughout all of them. I think the Autobots have an Autobot symbol back there. I don't know because all the Wave 1 Autobots are just repaints so I'm not buying them. But here's the backdrop you get. So you get uh, some symbols here and some more glyphs that you can decode. I have a picture of the decoder on my phone but as I'm using that to record I can't decode these for you right now. So yeah. You have this cool looking like compass sort of thing but it also looks like a sword. It's pretty cool. I do like it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But yeah, you got another Decepticon symbol up there, and it's just a piece of cardboard, so yeah. I like this. I like the inclusion of the uh, backdrops. Just throw that back there. So, here is Deluxe Barricade, and he's okay. I mean, I, I expressed my opinion as to how excited I was on this guy when I reviewed him, and I still was very excited for it, and I picked it up today, and, and it's okay. I mean, it's a good toy, don't get me wrong. It's a good car former but he doesn't do anything interesting there's nothing interesting or new about him he's basically just your generic take the guy lie him down put a shell on top now he's a car and it's very evident when you look at him from the bottom like this there he is just saying hello but he does i will say he does look nice in both modes so here is the ford i think it's a mustang gt a custom mustang gt with the uh two front scoops instead of just one and it looks really nice just getting close here you have some very nice blue paint there's a lot of paint on this guy for a um, 2017 movie toy which is pretty cool you got some black up top here you got um, this entire front section the blue on this front section front section is painted you have um, some paint over here for the lights and the headlights are really nicely done I like that you have the police Decepticon symbol to punish and enslave which is odd because on the box it shows to uh, actually here hang on box it says to protect and serve on the box and on the actual set car it says keep calm and hail Megatron so yeah they messed it up twice but it's still nice to get that um, on the back you have tail lights on the side same thing on the top you have the uh, light bar which is done in the translucent plastic which is I mean it's better than painted ones but yeah, it's, it, what am I saying? It's cool. Looks nice. He does roll very well. He is very light, though. I will say that. And I'll show that off even more when I get to the comparisons. The overall, it does look really nice. Now, the one issue that everyone seems to have with it is the gap in the back here. But I'm not going to display him like this on the shelf. I'm not even going to display him in vehicle mode, so I don't care. To be totally honest, I do not care. For accessories, this toy does come with three. He comes with one of these one of these and one of these 
So all of these have storage. Two of them have great storage. One of them just looks like crap. So the pistol here has a tab on the bottom there. There's a port right there, and you can just tab it in just like so. And the nightstick has a tab right there that can go into that slot right there. So you just tab it in, and there's your vehicle mode storage for those two weapons. It's a little obtrusive there, that bit of mold flash just kind of sticks out on mine, but I can probably just sand that down. This, however, has a little clip right here that'll clip into the top section just like so. And you fold it down and that looks ridiculous. I, he has a machine gun strapped to the back of a cop car. But yeah, he still rolls perfectly fine with the accessories underneath, so that's good. Just I'm just going to remove that because I don't like it on the top. So yeah, Barricade as a Mustang. He looks really nice. This Mustang looks really mean. I really do like how the front of it looks. I love the new updated Mustang. Looks so much better than the original. So for a comparison, here he is next to Deluxe Skydive. And Skydive is slightly bigger, but only slightly than Barricade. Here he is next to his wave mate, Berserker. And that doesn't work at all. That does not scale very well. Uh, Berserker is a Chevrolet Suburban and there is a person on my street that one of my neighbors owns a Chevy Suburban and they are massive they are huge there's also someone on our street who owns a Mustang and yeah the the Suburban is a lot bigger than the Mustang and that doesn't scale well but that's not an issue with this toy that's an issue with this toy so yeah here he is with the Legion class movie barricade from this line and to be totally honest, I like the coloring, the blue on this one, a lot better than the shiny blue. I like the matte blue a lot better than the shiny one. But yeah, Legion, he's okay. And then the comparison everyone's been wanting to see on this guy. First movie barricade versus new movie barricade. I don't have Dark of the Moon barricade, but he's just about the same size as this. So, yeah. But yeah, here is the first movie barricade next to the Last Night barricade. And... As you can see here, end-to-end, uh, -end, first movie barricade is significantly larger because deluxes back then were huge. And first movie, bar first movie barricade does have a little bit more paint on him because he does have the 643 and the word police on it. This guy doesn't, and I don't think the actual car for the movie has them either, so that's movie accurate. So that's not really a point to knock off on this guy. But this dude is a lot heavier than this guy. This dude is significantly heavier. It's like holding three bananas in one hand and one banana in the other hand. I don't know why I chose bananas. It's just the first thing that popped into my head. But it's like three bananas versus one banana. That's what this feels like. This this feels odd when trying to hold both at the same time. But yeah, as the 2007 Mustang GT versus the 2017, I think it's a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Mustang GT. I like this a lot better. This looks a lot better than this. Plus, this guy's a little wider. If you noticed, he's a little wider than the first movie one. But yeah, again, out of the two figures, I'd have to say this one is my favorite of the bunch. Just because he pulls off the design a lot better than this one does. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get this guy into his robot mode. And the transformation is very simple, yet it has a couple of tricks to it that makes it slightly more unique than a normal car transformer. But when you look at it, it is just basically a car transformer. So... To start, I'm going to remove the weapons. You don't have to, but it's just easier for me to show it off if I remove the weapons. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to these panels and push them out. Just like so. And you want to take this entire top section and separate it from the back here. This part's a little tricky to do because my tabs are very tight. There we go. And you just bring... Oh, I ripped it off. I ripped it off. There you go. And you just bring it up just like that. You want to fold these police sections in and just leave it up there like so. Then you want to come to the underneath and you want to bring these panels down, just like so. Then you want to take the arms and just kind of like wrestle them out of there. Bring it up slightly on the hinge and then bring it forward on this hinge. It's ratcheted, so bring it forward one click, just like that. And then bring it the rest of the way up. Rotate this down, rotate the fist 90 degrees, then rotate the bicep 90 degrees, then bring this up. And there you have an arm, all done. So let's do that on this side. Just bring it up, ratchet it forward, bring it up, bring it around, fold that up, rotate. 
all of this stuff around. There you have his arms all done. Then you want to take this section here and fold it down. It doesn't peg in anywhere, but just kind of rest there. And that's a little bit annoying, but I'll touch on that in a bit. Then you want to take the feet, split them. We want to fold them down just like so. Then take the heel and extend it out all the way to like make a heel spur. Just extend it out, rotate at the thigh swivel, just like so. And then this is on a triple hinge, so you just want to accordion it inward like that. And there you have the Last Knight Deluxe Barricade in his robot mode. And he looks really nice. He looks really cool. I am digging this new design. There is one glaring issue, though, when I turn him around. Yes, he's wearing the entire top of the car on his back. A lot of people don't like that, but I'll look at that a little. I'll I'll show you something with, that you can do with that a little later on. But getting in close here on the head sculpt. If I could focus on it. Focus. There we go. This is a very nice head sculpt. For some reason I can't zoom in. There we go. It's a very nice looking head sculpt. Yes, he does have a Decepticon symbol on his forehead. I don't care. I do like how they got the eyes picked out. I feel like if this was made for Age of Extinction, they would only do two of the eyes. But yeah. You do have some nice molded detail there for the neck. You do have the same detail for the chest plate. But you have some more new detail here with some silver and blue paint. Lifting this up, you can see some more detail going on inside there, which is quite nice. Just getting a look at the legs here. You got some black paint going on there. You got He does have his feet spikes still. And his uh, little foot triangle things that stick out. Now on the arms here, he does have some nice blue paint going on there. And some very nice molded detail on the inside of these flaps too. And and on the back of his head flap, there's some nicely molded detail there. I do kind of wish that these colors matched what they were going for. But, yeah, well. But yeah, Barricade looks really cool. Um, Articulation-wise, head, ball joints, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. This head panel does kind of get in the way of like your fingers. So I would advise to be careful with that. The arms surprised me. They're on a universal joint. Not a ball joint, a universal joint. So they can do full 360 and they can go out without having to risk them getting really loose very quickly, which is awesome. These can hinge. He has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that bends 90 degrees, and his really big fists can rotate a full 360, which is nice. Nothing, nothing at the waist. And I can kind of see where they could put a waist joint in, but I'm not really bothered by it. Hips are on ball joints, so you have a thigh swivel. Single jointed knee that bends just a little under 90 degrees. And the feet can go up and the heel spurs can move with it and whatnot. So yeah, there you have that. Now, back kibble. People hate the back kibble. I don't really like it that much. Well, I didn't really like it that much when I first saw the uh, leaked images of this guy. It looked a long time ago. And then it started growing on me and growing on me. And then I grew to just not care. Then MGO's review came out the other day. And he's like, yeah, you know what you can do? Just rip it off and do that. So now that looks a heck of a lot better. But now you're left with this big dumpy piece of car. And I will show you what you can do with this in just a minute. So for his accessory storage, you can put these back Excuse me, on his hips. Just like so. And just like so. And then this thing here on the back of his arm, there's this slot that you can just take those two clips, slot it in, and wrap it around to give him his signature new arm cannon, which is cool. And then this thing. Unfold these panels, put it on the arm, fold it around the arm. Make sure you do it right, and there you go. Barricade now has a right shield. So he's a complete police officer now with a riot shield. That is really cool. I really do like how that works out. That's really that's a really cool fan mode, and thank you, MGO, for showing everyone this. I will say, though, be careful with the backpack because the clip is translucent plastic. And I don't know if you can see this, but, yeah, you can right in there. My clip already has stress marks, and that was like that right out of the box. So... 
Be careful. That is the last time I'm going to take this off this figure because I don't want it to break. So I'm going to clip this back on and never remove it again. But yeah, you can do that with your toy. Just make sure you don't have any stress marks on it. But yeah, he can wield this thing here and you can have him hold his pistol in his hand. Or he can hold his uh, nightstick like this. Like this. But the way you're supposed to hold it is like this, or you can use it as a tomfa, which is really, really cool. And on the box art here, <coughs> excuse me, he does have a taser on, well, what I think is a taser, on his forearm. And you, this gun sort of looks like that taser. And there's a tab on his arm. So you can take the gun, you can put it right there, and there he has the taser on his forearm. There's a port on this side as well, so you can take this thing and plug it in if it fit, but this is in the way. But yeah, that's really cool, but I do like storing them on his hips because it is a lot better and a lot more movie accurate to the design anyways. So yeah, that is Barricade. So, for a comparison, here he is with uh, Skydive. So... There he is next to a Combiner Wars Deluxe. And he is a lot shorter. Then again, the character of Barricade was short to begin with. So, yeah. Here he is next to... Get out of here, Skydive. Here he is next to his wave mate. Well, I haven't transformed properly. Give me a sec. There you go. Here he is next to his wave mate, Berserker. And that looks really cool. I, I am liking these new movie toys. The new molds, at least. The new molds. I mean, I know... Half of the Premier Edition uh, figures are repaints, and the entire Legion class of figures are repaints so far. But these two new molds are looking really good, and I cannot wait to get the new Optimus Prime. And that'll be it for my Wave 1 shopping of the last night. I'm not getting any more, because they're $10 more than what they used to be. And here he is with the first movie barricade, and he is significantly bigger. Why? Don't understand, but anywho, let's just look at them together as barricades. So yeah, he's a lot taller, but he looks a lot more awkwardly proportioned than this guy. Then again, the movie design of Barricade from the first three movies was kind of weird looking to begin with. Very insect-like and had a lot of panels and um, little bits dangling off of him. This one does convey that to a certain degree, but the new design is more sleek and more uniform and more cohesive and this guy pulls that off very well so they do pull off their designs pretty well but i mean this guy's shrunken torso and sticky outy crotch and his weird paint and his skinny arms just doesn't look good then again it was a first movie toy so you kind of understand that but the feet spikes you can see the feet spikes are still there and the design of barricade on um, this movie barricade has these little things sticking out of the feet. This guy doesn't have it just due to how close they are in transformation. But I would say again, favorite design, I'd have to say this one. Better figure though, I'm kind of torn. Because this one looks great, but this one's articulation is, like this one looks great, but this one looks better. But this one is just more weighty and has better quality plastic than this guy. But this guy's articulation's better and it's just, I don't know which one is better in my opinion. But vehicle mode, this guy definitely wins. So here's just your little comparisons here. Again, they kind of share the whole uh, car roof light bar backpack, but this guy handles it a lot better. And I kind of wish he kept, Barricade kept these little uh, sticky uh door windshield things because that's trademark Barricade design for the movies. And I kind of wish that this guy had it, but oh well. And where did I put Legion Barricade? I've lost Legion Barricade. Where did he go? I've lost him. What? What? How did I lose Legion Barricade? Where is he? My desk's a mess. I apologize. I gotta find him. Hang on. That's... I don't know where he's gone. Okay. So, Barricade. Final thoughts. Yeah. Um, he's a good new mold. I will say that. Does he live up to the Barricade title, though? Because Barricade is probably the reoccurring character who is... The, who's the, he's probably the most popular reoccurring character for the movies. 
And does this figure live up to that? Nah, falls a little short. It It's good, but it doesn't live up to the Barricade title. If it was used for, like, a generic Decepticon, then yeah, I can see that. I found Legion Barricade. I found him. Just, just quickly. Legion Barricade. Deluxe Barricade. He does fall a little short. I was looking forward to this figure the most, and he is kind of lackluster. What lets it down for me is the transformation. The figure in robot mode and vehicle mode is great, but the transformation is just... is boring. Doesn't do anything cool, or even, like, this guy does some cool things. But, ultimately, it's this guy that everyone wants. Everyone wants to get this barricade, and it falls a little short. I mean, the backpack and the, the chest that doesn't tab in are a little annoying, but... I mean, you can get over those. It's just the transformation that bugs me. But anyway, that is Barricade. Oh, one more thing I forgot to show off. The best thing I've ever seen on a Transformer toy. Brass Knuckles. Granted, they're not painted, but I'll probably end up painting them someday. Brass Knuckles. And they say, in backwards, protect and serve. And the reason why they're backwards is so that when he punches someone in the face stenciled into their face is the word protect and the word serve and they're stenciled in the right way but i don't know why the decepticon has protect and serve on his brass knuckles i mean again pulling up the box does say serve does say protect so i don't know but yeah barricade he's really cool now quickly one more thing i wanted to show off about the box bringing the box back in uh, I, I promise the last time I bring the box back. That's one thing I noticed about the new deluxe boxes that I totally missed. I don't know how I missed this. But here's an Age of Extinction Voyager box. They, they, they took the design cues from the Age of Extinction Voyager boxes and just made them smaller and gave them to the deluxes. So yeah, just, just to show that off here. Same exact design. Cutout window, wraparound picture. Picture on the front movie you can't see that movie logos names hasbro logo it says transformers on the side this side is the only real difference because you have the bio up here picture of the toy logo this one you just have logo and then the backs are pretty much identical so yeah i promise that's the last you'll see of barricade's box so barricade is he worth the 30 canadian dollars no is he worth the 20 American dollars? No. Is he worth the normal price of a deluxe? Yes. And that's how much I bought him for because Toys R Us was having a 25% off sale. So I ended up paying 22.50 something. 22.59 with tax for this guy. Which is how much you'd pay for a Titan's Return Deluxe. So, yeah. But I would say if you do find him on sale, definitely pick him up. So that has been my look at the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Premier Edition Movie Barricade. God dang it, that's a mouthful. And I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.